Hi guys. So I'm still in this trade. It was a bits trade and it is bits tonight. So I'm just um, going to be talking about this trade. I'm still in it, still managing it. This was a bit signal on the five minute back here at the uh, 2599. Remember, you see, I've got a 25990 entry. We've now gone through the fourth target zone, but I'm trying to use the um, trading stop from the three minute roller coaster now, 259970 trading stop position. Thinking about taking the profit soon, coming up on support. Good trade, $350, good trade. So I'm gonna go over this uh, in a minute, this signal. I'm gonna be taking profit. I'm through the fourth target zone on this bits now. $375, decent per trade, I'm gonna flatten. Oh, yeah, 375, there we go, cancel all. Okay, so. Okay, we'll just wait for people to get here. Uh, and then we'll talk through this trade, this trade I've just done. How's everybody? Move that off a second. So we'll go big on this. Still going, blimey. Not greedy though, not greedy at all. Everybody hear me okay? Let me know in the chat. Okay, we're going to get going. I've got a quite a big migraine today. I've had it all week. Uh, so we're probably only going to do half an hour today, but uh, it's just to read, <clears throat> uh, to touch the base and uh, read and, you know, go over the bits and the associated smart list for the bits. Thank you, Damien. So we'll just, I mean, I literally closed this trade as I was coming on live with you guys. Uh, took $375 on copper, HG, I love copper just late, recently. I'm just going to wait until exactly half past. I'm going to bring the smart list over. And what I'm going to do without moving the chart, um, I'm going to um, just highlight a couple of things, annotate them, ready? Okay. So this was my entry here. It was a stop. That was the signal. There. Okay. Actually, didn't look how many is registered. Actually, but, uh... okay, guys, we'll get going. So today is bits, and uh, while I was eating my dinner, getting ready for this webinar, I took a trade short on HG. Okay, and made three hundred and seventy-five dollars. This is the five-minute time frame. <clears throat> so alert came up on the. Smart list for a short at 25993. 
I got a 25990 entry short, <clears throat> which was this bits signal here. The point of control at that point was above here, so I was clear. Uh, we entered into the trade, nice little pullback, tested the entry, and then it came back down for a really big move. But again, once it gets to, remember when we, we've got target zones on the bits, very, very simple. So this was the trade. These are the target zones, target zone one, two, three, and hit four. Look how it found support at four, okay? So I took it all the way down, but I managed it with the roller coaster. I'll go through that in a minute. Uh, <clears throat> but it was a very, very simple trade. One of the big correlations at the moment with copper is ES. If ES is going down at the moment, the dollar goes up, which sends copper down, okay? That's not normal. Usually when ES goes down, the dollar goes down. So, <clears throat> but we're in this uh, inverse correlation at the moment. So really then we've got that nice correlation with HG, with copper going down with uh, ES. Um, we'll talk about ES in a minute because that actually came, um, came off my uh, 382 Fib retracement on the daily time frame. Another reason why I flattened the trade and took the profit. So some of you were here <clears throat> when I took that profit. This is the trade, $375 down here. Very simple, it's my live account. It was a real trade. Uh, I did trade it with my um, inner circle through the chat. So let's clear the drawings, let's close that off, let's move that away. So that's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Signal came up on the smart list for bits for the breakout, took the trade. Why did I take the trade? So again, if we just zoom out a little bit, <clears throat> Okay, so we've got overnight lows here on HD. So we're already through those. Okay, if I just draw those on uh, briefly. So we're through those overnight lows. This was the open here. We tested those, came back up, back into my big support and resistance zone. We've broken through there. Okay, ES is coming down. It's coming down all day. We get a slight pullback. Then we get first short signal. I missed it. Second short signal comes in, I get the entry, okay? This point of control was above there at that time. Now, I've got four target zones, one, two, three, four, I talked about. There's loads of fresh air to the left, there's nothing. When I look on the 60 minute, the next support and resistance zone, if I just scroll all the way down here, is down here, okay? So there's a lot of fresh air. Not being greedy, 375 bucks is a nice trade uh, for what was uh, what 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 45 minutes. Not bad. Hourly rate, it's not bad. Hola, Frederico. So, again, very simple. We got the signal on the bits smart list. Looked on my chart, looked left, we were below the overnight lows. ES is going down, correlated with ES quite well. Uh, so I took the bit signal and then I managed it with the three minute roller coaster. So I go big on the, uh, on the three minute roller coaster here. We can see that's been short for quite a while, um, but my entry was 25990, which was, around about here okay so once it had that pullback on the three minute and then started to come down again i really started to take notice of these roller coaster trading stop positions okay that helped me get it to risk free uh moving to a good profitable dis, uh, um, uh, position but then when it found support at that fourth target zone i just took it out and took the 375 dollars there's no <clears throat> There's no rhyme or reason. $375 for 45 minutes work is not bad. Uh, to be honest, I've had a crappy week this week. So that this finishes the week off very well for me because I'm not trading tomorrow. Um, so it was a very, very simple setup. But when we go to ES, we can see the correlation. This move down on ES is really, really good. Um, let's just go big on the five minute. So ES has done basically the same thing. So right now, and again, things do change, 
But right now, the correlation with ES and HG is very, very good. So these are the things that we're looking for here. Fantastic, Frederico, good trading. Combining them is really, really good. And we go through that on the last Thursday of the month um, because we can use, as you, like you've done, you've used the roller coaster to get it to risk free, to try all the stuff. And that's really what it's all about. So this 382 retracement here, guys, okay, nothing to do with bits, but this goes off the daily when it loads up. Now it's going to look a bit messy this because uh, this is a day trading chart. But what I've done on this, uh, let's just go to the, I think I did it at 240. I do it on another chart. I just wanted to show you the real uh, profit, uh, the um, retracement as it were. Okay, so we've got lows. So these lows here is where I was last oversold on the 240. So then take it to the highest point here. And then I've got my Fib retracement. I've got the 236, the 382. And this is something I told my inner circle today that that 350 was the target today because that 382 will usually find a bounce. If it does push through there, we've got the 3025. Resist a spot resistance zone and then the 3000 dead at the 50% fib. <clears throat> so these fib retracements are really, really strong. Now, I haven't got the Elliott wave on here, but this, this is a wave floor pullback currently on the 240. Find support tomorrow. We're going for longs Monday. Uh, don't forget, uh, that, Trevor, these are nothing, they, you can't get hold of this. This is for me at the moment. Okay. Uh, I'm just working on something else where we get pit opens for for gold. So uh, I, I just I'm just using this uh, chart at the moment. So don't worry about those labels. Okay. So the main thing is with the S on the 240, you've got a nice bullish trend here. Uh, we've pulled out of that uh, channel. We've come back in. We've broken out. Now we touch the 382 um, on that retracement from the last time we were oversold. So. Uh, really, really key level, this level. And look at the clustering around here as well, around this price, 350 price. So that, uh, again, when I'm seeing that um, on my other charts for indexes, um, that profit on my HG, potentially that bounce was going to happen, even if it was short term, I don't want to give any away that profit on HG, so I took the profit. Okay, does that make sense? We remember we've got to keep on the correlations. We've got to understand what's helping this move down or move up, particular whichever ticker you're looking at. Uh, we're looking at support and resistance zones, channels, higher time frames, a lot of stuff going on. But you have to remember a lot of stuff if you're going to trade. Okay. Okay, so let's go back to here. So let's look at gold. So today, guys, will only be half an hour because I've got a migraine from hell today. Okay, gold pre-market, uh, Federico. Um, Five-minute chart, okay. <clears throat> pre-market here. So this was the bit signal, 1740.8, or this one, or this one. I know Doug, uh, I don't think he's in here, he's in, the, he's in my inner circle, he took this trade all the way up here today. Great trade. <clears throat> yeah, the 1740.8 was the good one after we found consolidation here, move up. And then um, again, Federico trailed it with the one minute roller coaster I'll bring that over now. So we'll just have to go back quite a way. Okay, well, there we go. So again, combining that, we see the one minute roller coaster was, it was a very aggressive 
um, trailing stop, but we had an aggressive move in gold. So it was a good choice, Frederico. You got the bit signal, and I don't think you've had the bits that long, have you, Frederico? You've not even had it a week, and you've just made, what, $400, $4,000? I don't know what it is. Uh, but that was a good trading stop there. Didn't take it out all the way up until here. So that was a great trade on the micros, yeah. But still a good trade, a fantastic trade. Uh, again, using the bits for the breakout. And the bits also works on stocks as well, guys. So uh, don't, don't be afraid uh, to have a look at it on, on the stocks. Um, let me just go to, um, let's go to Apple. Look at that Apple breakout on the bits here. One, one uh, entry there was 325.73. And then it, it went obviously through the full target zone. Boom. Now the next day we got another entry. Didn't trigger for two more days. That entry was at 328.34. To th three, you know, in what was that? One, two, three, four days. Yeah. So it works as long as we've got volume and price action, the bits will work. So it won't work on Forex unless your broker provides volume. Okay. This is why when I look for trading currencies, I go to um, the futures contracts. Okay. Uh, pink point of control is aggressive. Yes, you can follow that one or the yellow point of control, Frederico. Okay, entirely up to you, really. Okay, so one of the things we do look at when we are, whether we're trading currencies or whatever, this is 6B, for example. Okay, what we're looking for is a, a good risk reward down to major support and resistance. So, these trades here aren't fantastic because we're going into support. It's a good example of just being a little bit more cautious when you are setting these trades up, okay? Yeah, yeah, being risk-free as soon as you can is fantastic. If it takes you out, you don't lose any money, uh, but if you get a runner like I did on HG today, and I closed it as you guys came on, uh, you know, you get a runner, you take the profit, okay? You, you'll get the runner 50% of the time, the rest of the time you'll be taken out at risk-free. Uh, sometimes I've let things run a little too long just recently, uh, should have taken the profit earlier. Uh, it's been a mixed bag this week. It's been a tough week for me, I think. Um, sometimes you, you get in a groove, uh, and sometimes you just can't hit the barn door from two yards away, okay? And I felt like the latter this week, but that nice little trade there has given me a lift. I can go away now for my three-day weekend, uh, chill out, relax, take a swim. I've got a poker game tomorrow night. I'm uh, just going to chill out, relax, reset, and come into next week with confidence that my strategies do work. I was just either too aggressive or, you know, to be honest, I've been very aggressive with stops uh, this week and they've just been tipped out and then come, come back uh, again. So, uh, you know, it's one of those things. Okay, so we've got no signals coming up on the smart list right now. So with me at the moment, I, I use a smart list for roller coaster and bits. So for, for, the, for, the, for the bits, I just use the three and the five because things are turning on a dime at the moment. So the one and the two minutes are a little bit too aggressive for me to look for those bits breakouts there. So I, I have uh, up above on the screen, I have the five minute and the three minute 
uh, that gives me the ding dings, give me the signals, and then, then I can do the work, make the decisions, and either trade it or not. Okay. Um, now, you know, there's no right or wrong answer there, uh, but for me, I think at the moment the market's being so volatile and so reactive to news. You need a li little bit, even if you day trade, you need a three or five minute now. The one and the two, little bit. And one and the two, we do okay for um, you know for for roller coaster, for example. So platinum, we traded today. We had a, some great trades on platinum today. Um, so let that just all catch up. So what we did with platinum today, we did trade an Elliott wave today. This this fifth wave down here, we traded that. And again, the main point of what I want to talk about as well today, and reiterate like I do every single bloody Thursday is these support and resistance zones. These were drawn in before this happened, guys, okay? These were drawn in. We pulled up, we found resistance, we came back down, we went short, okay? We traded the fifth wave. Simple as that. Very, very simple. There were great roller coaster trades on there today, on the one minute, for example. Um, you know, it really worked out very, very well. There was no real bits trades because again, when you look at these bit signals, they're coming a little too late into this move and we're going into support. So again, we are utilizing the tools given to us, the three indicator suites to get the best out of the instrument. In this case, bits, it wasn't good because they were giving us shorts into support. We don't want that, okay? We were already in this. We'd already taken profit. We're not going to take those. Yeah. Yeah. Enter three or five. Trail on the one. Yeah. Or two. Sometimes. Sometimes if I start, if it starts running and I see momentum going, if I'm trading on a one, I might then switch to two or three or even five if that keeps going. But once it hits a support zone, I just I, you know, a lot of the time I'll flatten or take contracts off uh, and leave leave some running, if you like. Okay. Okay. Bear with me a second. Oh yes, it's pushing down again. Yes. Yeah, perfect. So again, broken support, came down to test support. Let's go big here. Perfect example. Let's annotate this. If I had space left, Frederico, you should join my inner circle. But anyway, we've got support here. We come down to test it here. We come back up a little bit. We get a red candle here. Gives us our entry 308.025. Stop up here. Main thing is we've come down to test. We've come back up. we come back through. And the entry is below the support zone. Target one, two, three, four. There's my 382, okay? So at target four, you either decide to take profit, take some of them off, or move your trading stop to the pink point of control here on the five minute. It has now broken down below my 382. So now we are in, in, a, in a position where this is probably gonna test the 55th, which is unbelievable, clear all drawings.
No more bit signals there at the moment on ES. Ooh, we're summing off. Oh, there was one on the three minutes. Ah, well, I didn't, I didn't see it. Sorry, guys. That was a good one. Why was that a good one? It was just below this pivot low that bounced up there, okay? So that 304.550 was a great bit signal there. Risk reward one to 1.2 into that support zone, okay? Um, yeah, you shouldn't have exited earlier. Yeah, just just let it let it run and use your. If you're trading off the five, use the. If you can get to risk free pretty quick, good, and then relax off your one minute. Go to your five minute. Use your, your pink dots. Okay, get to risk free and then start to relax that aggressive approach to trading stops. Because if you get a runner, use the pink or yellow. This thing's still in, buddy. Okay, this thing's still going. Yeah. I wish I'd have taken this one now, but shoulda, woulda, coulda. It's a great trading strategy. Okay, guys, this is your time. Okay, I've got 10 minutes. I am only doing half an hour today because I've gone on migraine. So, um, but I didn't want to let you guys down. So you've got to ask questions. What do you want to know? Bits. This is about bits and the smart list for bits. There's been some fantastic trades today. Again, if we go back to HG. This was a trade that I closed up when you watch the recording. It will be there. I closed the trade up on the bits. You go big on the bits again. I use a trailing stop on the roller coaster to trail it. But the main thing is for me was we'd come down through um, support. We'd broken the overnight lows. I didn't get the first signal, got the second signal. This whole 2.6 was, I, I don't like it. It's got to be below there. Get that next signal, go short, hit the fourth target zone, take $375. Um, there's a couple of reasons why I don't trade on Friday, uh, unless it's NFP day, um, but there's a lack of volume, um, Frederico. And the second, I like a three day weekend, to be honest. I've got used to it for so many years now um, that I, you know, Unless it's NFP, I will probably hardly ever trade on a Friday because there's low volume. And that's, um, you know, you can sit. You, you've got to remember, I live in Europe. So I get up at 7 a.m. in the morning. It is now 7 p.m. I've done 12 hours today. Yes, it's not all been in front of the computer, but a lot of it has. And I've just, fit, you know, just closed out this trade on HG now you know, for $375 on this bit signal. There's the profit. There's the live. I closed it out as you guys came on. So sometimes you can, you can wait quite a long time because you have to be patient when you're trading. So if you do four 12-hour days, you like three days off, okay? And, and it's been a tough week. I've had a migraine since Tuesday this week. It's now Thursday uh, on and off, you know, so... Um, you know, lack of volume, like a three day weekend. Uh, I don't usually trade Monday mornings either in Europe. Uh, just try and, and pick the right, the sweet spots for, for, for volume and everything else. This is coming back down now with the yes. Okay. Um, so we are getting new lows on some of these stocks everywhere. Wow. Okay. That reminds me, what does that look like? Yeah, we got a short on with MV, MVCR. That's back in profit very quick. Triple D, back in profit. Lovely. Love it. Yeah, I mean, this this profit taking, guys, I'm I'm, this is no word of a lie. Millions of Americans got free money. 
they didn't spend it on their children, on nappies, on food. They bought stocks with it. Then all of a sudden that pushed stock. You can imagine millions of people with two and a half thousand dollars buying stocks. Okay. That's pushed the market up against economic data, which isn't brilliant. Okay. And then all of a sudden they see this profit. They're not professional traders. What do they do? Sell, 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 sell. So those millions of traders with all that free money, they, uh, they've just taken profit over the last couple of days. And then there'll be a second round of stimulus, lots more free money. Guess what? Markets will go up again. It is not normal behavior. And it's been very difficult to trade. Uh, really, really, really difficult. Um, pretty tough, really. Uh, yeah, it could be contract rollover, but you know, to be honest, the stocks are leading the way. Yeah. And when you have, um, you know, everything pretty much red except for Zoom, um, you know, we are, you know, Google's down 42 bucks, $12 down on Apple. Boeing is down $25 today. You know, there's some profit taking going off. Okay. There was those people that got in the airlines that shoved them up and now they're suffering today as well. Uh, and that's what's happening, you know, um, but it should, it should consolidate. I think tomorrow, remember on ES, we were looking at, um, got to find it first. There it is. So some big points that we're looking for on these fibre retracements. Okay, so we have got our sports zones, which you get on the 5K club, uh, but also the 50 fib is right at 3,000, and that is freaky, okay? Um, so we've got a support zone there, support resistance zone. I need to extend that one, actually. Uh, then the 618 is around 2940. You mean, to be honest, that's last chance saloon. If it breaks that, we are going to get a very deep correction. But right now, we're between the 382 and the 50. So if this was a wave four pullback, for example, this would be the amber zone. Yeah, because the fib level, the uh, pullback zones on the uh, wave four are fib levels. And that's between 382 and 50 is the amber zone. And this really is where we should be looking for support today and tomorrow, uh, and maybe a little bounce off, um, but that's what we're looking for there. Okay, guys. So I do apologize, it's only half an hour today, uh, but I was gonna cancel because it, you know, my head's pounding, but you know, I didn't cancel and I made 375 bucks to boot. So there you go. Uh, any more questions on the bits? It's very, very simple. Uh, you just need to know your chart craft. You need your linear support resistance zones. You need your channels, overnight lows, highs, all that sort of thing. Basic stuff, basic trading. Uh, but you need those. And when you get the signals to check it out, you've got fresh air, you go. Okay, anything else from you guys? Ask now or forever hold your peace. No problem. I'm off to take some more tablets and put eye patches on and try and get rid of this migraine. Okay, guys. Okay, so we uh, we don't have false breakouts on bits. Um, so that's it for today. Um, I'm going to sign off. Five K Club members, we've got live trading session on Monday. Don't forget, go onto the website and register. Okay, guys, I'll see you all next week. Have a good weekend, everybody. Gracias, Federico. Hasta luego. <laughs> Ciao, everybody.